Wow. Yeah. Oh, Dan, the Romanian man. For, forgot Fucking about shit's him. Bad. Fucking He's shit. a good, good dude. Good dude. I remember I got a lecture one day because uh, I came all excited. I had just finished watching Hitman. And uh, the if Hitman is a good movie, but the best reason to watch that movie, it's uh, Olga Kurlienko. And mm. no, as soon as I mentioned her name, Kurlienko, that sounds like KGB name. <laughs> <laughs> and whoa, I, I was trying to leave the break room and uh, someone did leave the break room and left me there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that would be. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, God, I got a half hour lecture of uh, how things were. Back in the day with the, you know, Soviet Union. Yeah, and, when they uh, controlled Romania. Yeah, Romania, you know, and how, yeah, you, you can tell his dislike for anything KGB. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a funny guy. He's yeah. just like this tall, real thin, you know, kind of quiet dude. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, once you got to know him, you know, he would he jump would, around and shit. But, yeah. You know, for quite kind of a reserved man. Man, bring up the word fucking something Russian. Woo! Boy, yeah, like that I motherfucker said, would lose his marbles. I, I was just drooling over Olga Kurlyenko. And uh, Kurlyenko, that sounds like such a KGB name. <laughs> 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 wow, shit. It just goes off. Yep. Oh, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know how somebody could have ducked out on you on that one. Uh, I don't know. Seriously, I can't imagine. I can't remember who the fuck did that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, they must have been a real asshole. Yeah, I don't, out on you, like you know, that. I don't know. Probably the same type of person that would give a young person with mar- marital issues, you know, advi- hey, I, I advi- did that the other day. Ad- advice to you know, uh, like you hey, know, I, penis I, in I the butt, some, you know. <laughs> I gave some uh, advice the other day to a young kid. Oh gosh, not yeah. not a pib again. No, 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 no. This kid's really, really reserved and really, really super religious. And he's kind of a wuss, and that was kind of irritating me. So he was like, I'm so tired. Oh, my legs hurt. Blah, okay. blah, blah. And I'm going to be back here tomorrow morning at 7. Uh, yeah. So you know what would help you out, my man? Hmm. Oh, what would help me out? Okay, so you get off at 11 o'clock, right? Yes, sir. And you're going to be back here at 7, right? Yes, sir. You need to go get some hookers and blow. That's what you need. Wow. <laughs> yep. Okay. And uh, the look on this poor kid's face. <laughs> you, uh, what? I, 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 I need what? Oh, yeah. Mountain fucking blow and a couple of good hookers. Cheap roadside hookers. Like cheap hookers. That's what you need. That'll keep you going all night long. Keep that little engine of yours chugging away all night long. You're going to be the little engine that could. i don't think this kid ever heard some shit like that oh gosh now he's going to hell by association yeah i don't know that's usually what i tell people around like you know hey you're not going to heaven you you had a casual conversation with k-dog right yeah you're not going to heaven shut the fuck up (laughs) you're going to hell by By association association. (laughs) come on we got cookies (laughs) oh gosh Oh man! So, man. No, yeah. this shit's crazy. We live in some wild motherfucking times. I know it's it's crazy. Italy got dolphins coming back to it. Fucking that's crazy a, time. Mexico's locking us out of the fucking country. The tables have turned, motherfuckers. Boy, boy, oh boy! I, it would it'd be pretty fun. soon. White people are going to be picking cabbage in out there in Arizona. I don't know. I, I saw the Ralphie Mae special. May he rest in peace. I don't feel like paying $97 for a salad. Fuck that. <laughs> I love Ralphie Mae. He oh, was so God. awesome. Yeah. I, I, was, I don't know how I bumped into it. I, I was YouTubing. I don't know. And they're like, oh, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> like, that guy. Man. Was, yeah. He was another level. <laughs> yep. <laughs> No, the level. He would say some shit nowadays he would have been shot for saying. Well, yeah, I guess we've come to that point where we're so politically correct. We we can't do shit. I mean, Mel Brooks couldn't get away with doing any, most of his movies. Blazing Saddles, Spaceballs, that that just wouldn't happen right now. Nope. With today's standards. Ralph and May would have been fucked up. 
Well, but is there any comics right now that are anywhere near to what Ralphie made? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a few that are. I think Dave Chappelle ranks up there. Hmm. Yeah. He he goes he goes places nobody else will go. That is true, regardless of race. Right. He don't give a fuck. Juicy Smoulet. Hmm. Uh Let's see who else. There, there's, there's Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy's making a comeback. Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, gosh. I guess I, he's gonna be doing some stand up. There's uh, Mrs. Pato came across, and I can't, I can't find him now. It's this, this Spanish dude that's always, I don't know, I, I can't describe it. <laughs> he's all, the, the shit he's talking would be considered very politically incorrect. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I'll it, check him out. yeah, I, I, I need to get his, uh, I'll find more information, but no, he was just talking about, I can't remember. It, it caught me off guard, dude. I couldn't stop laughing because it was like something about his dad or something. And, and he's like, he's been here so much and he hasn't learned English or something like deport his mother. The, the way he just went off on that, <laughs> it, it was like, wait a minute, this motherfucker's talking about his dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck it, it's one of those uh, <laughs> did he just say the port is dead I don't know but the the it, it's it's crazy it's uh, I can't I, I gotta find out this fucker's name because uh, you know what's fucking crazy I've been I, I've been catching this show it's on uh, on Vice have you got have you ever watched any sh- any shit on Vice before uh, it's but, a show on Hulu Hulu has it. And it's called Hate Thy Neighbor. Hate Thy Neighbor? Yeah, it's the fucking craziest shit I've ever seen. Mm. So this dude is a a stand-up comedian, right? He's a film student, like film dude and a stand-up comedian. Anyways, he goes and he interviews, like the one episode I was watching, he was interviewing fucking the white white supremacist, right? Fucking Uh, asshole skinheads, right? All right. Now, this dude is half black, half white. So he's interviewing these motherfuckers, right? And they're like all googly and eyeing him, right? Yeah. Well, then on a later episode, he goes and he interviews the, uh, I don't want to fuck their name up, but like the black version of the white supremacist, right? Like the ones that believe all white people should should be like fucking killed and shit. Yeah. And it's like, Complete op- like it's, they're all saying the same shit, but just transition the color. And then on another episode, he was like, he was interviewing a bunch of people out near you, where they bo- they could drive up and they're c- citizens, but they drive up and down the border, trying to fucking find any people that are you know coming across illegally. Yeah. And then later in that episode, he's interviewing people that like go out in the desert and try to find them. Leave they leave water and they leave su- supplies and whatnot. Yeah. Trying, you know, trying to help these people across. Yeah, I don't know, man. It is a wildly, brutally honest show. It is fucking crazy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, hate, I gotta say, I mean, hate you, you know, kind of make your own your own decision. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the the complete opposite of every episode. But it was crazy. Mm. Yep. Hate, hate thy neighbor. Hate thy neighbor. Holy shit! And then in between, mm. he's fucking. He's in a stand-up show and he's fucking like making fun of these people, like saying funny shit about it. Oh, it's pretty. It's a really well done show. Mm. Yep, that one. And there's a show where I think Two Chains is on there. I, I probably fucking up. I probably fucking up who was on there. But anyways, fucking, he's having all these really fancy people come in and make him like fancy like really fancy desserts but all of it's laced with weed and thc holy shit oh god damn he starts like some of the episodes he starts spacing out oh, like man. he's so fucking stoned <laughs> i was kind of hoping we'd take this show in that direction you know where we'd be doing shit like that but then you went ahead and moved down to the motherfucking east coast and you ruined it man yeah, I know. <laughs> just like I hate it here. <laughs> I feel like I'm just that lone kid kicking a can down the road. Fuck, I hate this place. Oh, shit. They're so mean to me down here. Oh, okay. I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It's, uh, it's, uh, everything happens for a reason, they say, right? I hope uh, so. Jeez. I, all I know is uh, 
Right now, it's some crazy times. I mean, California, some fucking lockdown. Uh, some other states, too. Like 13, 14 other states are on lockdown. Yeah. Listen, uh, guys, I don't... I, 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 I want I want recess. Go sit in your fucking chair until you're told you can get up, and then we can all have recess again. Yeah, exactly. I feel like, <laughs> like what the fuck are we doing here? Just stay in your home. Yeah. No, I don't want to go home. A week ago, motherfucker, you were wanting to stay home. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, now that I have to stay home, I have to interact with my family, and I don't really know these people. They 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 scare me. I don't like them. There's some <laughs> weird lady sitting on the couch next to me. Yeah, I know. It's like uh, she says she's my wife. Apparently, she's my wife. You know, I, I met I, her. I don't know. I don't then that know. She, then there, there's a couple kids there too, and I think I met her boyfriend too. He's nice, you know. He's, yeah. We sat there, had a beer, watched a game. <laughs> Listen, we got movies coming out, motherfucker. Black Widow's yeah. supposed to be coming out. We gotta get over this shit. Yeah. Fuck. I gotta go see Scarlett Johansson. God damn it. That movie looks good, too. Yeah, I saw the trailers. It looks pretty good. There's just a lot of shit that we're not doing because places are closed down. I never thought this would happen. Fuck. I mean, you know, movie theaters closing down. Theme parks closing down. I mean, it's like... Restaurants sure. shutting down. Tell me about it. Uh, right there, one of the places where I work at, they, there's two of those items, a hotel and a restaurant, and they're both down shut down get the fuck and then hey, did you hear did you hear what florida governor said uh he fucking shut the beaches down because people are still spring breaking down there and all like all I, getting I, real close he was like now the beach is closed spring break is over go home uh don't quote me but i think that's where the ass licking video happened. oh <laughs> <laughs> i have a that that's where Why the yeah, well, you know, you got people licking people's toes down there on the loose, you know, so why not? <sighs> Breaking in people's houses, licking their toes. Nasty motherfuckers. Nasty fucker, you know, I'm just saying. There was uh, another case of somebody licking ice cream in a grocery store again. Oh, stupid fucks. I hate yep. People. Fuck them all. I hate them all. Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. Who was it? God damn it. I read a, a quote the other day, and I really, really liked it. I forget who said it, though. It said, a person is smart. People are fucking dumb. Um, I've been subscribing to that mentality forever. Um, Agent K. It makes sense. It makes so mm. much sense. It's like, a, you, can a, rest- a, you know, it's when Will, you know, Agent J or Will Smith was telling him, why do you know? When he found out that's that there was right, that's who it is. Yeah, when, you got it. When he found out that there was aliens, and he's like, "Well, why don't you tell people? People are smart." And he's like, "A person is smart. You get two or three of them together, they become people. And people is this ignorant, stupid animal that does the most irrational and stupid things." Man, is that the truest thing? And we're starting to see that shit real life. Fuck yeah, over toilet paper, motherfuckers. God, acting damn it. irrational, fucking die. I, Dayguard sent me this video, and this is the Joker, a scene from The Dark Knight where Batman, where the Joker is telling him that uh, they're only good because, uh, gosh, I, I I love to play it right now because I don't know the words. But uh, basically the Joker describing how people would act if uh, the situation would, uh, you know, arise, and I guess it, right. it happened, and... And as as you're listening to the Joker, uh, the video goes into scenes where you got this woman in her, I would say, late 30s or 40s fighting with this older lady over some toilet paper. I've never... I'm man, like, I'm like, I can't get over this shit. Why, why toilet... Of all the things you can be hoarding, why, why toilet paper? I have no idea. Once again, I've... I've always said that I blame the charm and bears. I mean, you know, I think they're behind it. I think my behind is clean. I'm I, charming clean. I think they're part of that uh, elite group that is trying to control us. You know, they're down there with the Jesus re- Christ with you the never reptilians. Have to wake up at six in the morning to make it to Walmart an hour before they open up the standing line to buy some fucking shitter tickets. Okay, so much for social distancing, right? Because now you're there right. bunched up with, uh, what, 500 motherfuckers waiting to get in there? 
Right. I saw that the other day. I was getting off one of my jobs with the 